Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error that says that the Windows script host access is disabled on this machine. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, which is probably going to be pretty common, you want to go ahead and select yes. Now before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. In order to do that, it's very simple. You want to just go ahead and left click on the file tab up in the top left. Select export. File name. Usually I to just naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then if you ever need to import it back in, you just do file import and then navigate over to the file. So pretty straightforward. So once you're done with that, the step is going to diverge a little bit depending on if you're running a Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, or even a Windows XP computer. I will have that in the description of the video. So Windows 8 and Windows 10, you're going to be expanding the H key current user folder. If you're on Windows 7 or earlier editions, you're going to go expand H key local machine. So one big difference there, just keep that in mind. Everything else will be the same though after that point. So once you've expanded either H key current user, if you're on Windows 8 or Windows 10, or you've expanded H key local machine if you're on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, you want to go expand the software folder, so either double click on it or left click on the arrow next to that, just like we did for the first folder. So once you expand the software, you want to scroll down to Microsoft, expand Microsoft, expand Microsoft, and now you want to go down to Windows Script Host. And you want to either double click on it or expand the little arrow like we were doing before. Now there should be a folder that says settings underneath. So just go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to right click in a blank area. Select new. And then select D word 32 bit value. Type in enabled. So E-N-A-B-L-E-D. So again, enabled. Hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And then you want to double click on it. Set the value data to one. So if it says zero in here, delete it. Type the number one. Don't spell out one. Just type the number one in this value data field. Select OK once you're done. And that should be about it. So go ahead. You can close out of the registry editor at this time. Restart your computer. And I hope that was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.